Hello everyone, it's Sizzle and I'm back yet again playing Sub Deck Ages. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having an awesome one myself. We're going to back to this pretty amazing pack here. Kind of hammer things out. So, what I want to do today is going to be, well, get to the next age. But, uh, I guess what I did between episodes first is, well, I have... Am I not wearing my boots? I'm going slow. Um, I made the building. It isn't done. It isn't finished. I still have quite a ways to go. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to finish it off. Don't know if I like these archways, but the, the roof is really cool. <laughs> guess we can look at that. I love the sound effect of these boots. It's like you're playing Super Mario. But anyway, it's kind of like the kind of rounded kind of hull of a ship is kind of what I was going for. Because we kind of got the kind of, you know, um, pointed hull of a ship over there. Kind of got the rounded one over here. This one's going to be housing all of our machines in time. So kind of did this. The roof took me about, I don't know, an hour and a half just to kind of figure that out. And then I don't even know what I'm doing on the bottom half yet. I'll just kind of figure it out as we go. But uh, once I have figured out, I'll get everything kind of moved in there. Um, a lot of the stuff can't go in there anyway, like the solar refactor and this stuff. It needs sun outside. That's way too tall. No point having tanks in there or any of that jazz. So, yeah, really dependent on, uh, you know, what I can get in there. But uh, in the next age, we're going to have a lot more machines. So we're going to have a lot more to move in there. So that's going to be where I set up most of our automation, I think, for the most part, as long as I have room for it. Uh, or yesterday, I, t I was talking about these things, the powered lanterns. And I did a little bit of derpy stuff, and I derped around, I made some mistakes, but uh, these things, the, I did learn about them, because I took them in creative, and I was just like, I don't understand how these things work, because right now you can see that thing's off. But if I turn this off, so this one's off now, that's actually going to turn it on. They actually work as relays, too, so a lot of people don't realize that. And that was part of the reason I had this confusion, because I thought they worked like connectors. So I thought I could just connect power, it would work. They'd be fine at Daddy. No, they work like relays. And the weird thing about them is they actually power themselves last in the chain. So if you have a chain going, using this as a relay, or even just connected to power, they're very last in priority. So, yeah. So if I turn this back on, that's actually going to turn off because this machine is pulling all the power. So, yeah, neat little thing. I did throw them around. I'm actually using them as, as relays around here. Just keep mobs from spawning. But uh, I just thought I'd show that real quick because, uh, yeah, that was my confusion, man. I did not know these things were relays. Then I kind of fooled around with them, and now I do. The only other thing I guess I did was throw a liquid hopper here and a tank, just so, yeah, we get a good amount of the liquid. This thing actually has a 16 bucket kind of buffer, and uh, the, the tank has another 10, so I have about 26 buckets. Um, I don't know how much we need. I really don't. And this machine's going to get moved anyway. But uh, I did kind of make everything we need kind of for the next multi-blocks. So is that actually the right one? Liquid processor? Yeah. We need to make the liquid processor in the plastic molder. So we kind of look at our book here. And this is going to take us into the next age. So, yeah. Using modular machinery, liquid processor, convert propene into liquid plastic. And this one is the plastic molder from uh, modular machinery will convert liquid plastic into plastic sheets usable for a number of new recipes. So... That is where we're going, and that's where we're headed. We're going to get this one done first and kind of, you know, hammer it out. <laughs> Let's get her finished and move on to the next age. I just want to get the next age, get a new tech, get all that jazz, get in the machines, man. But anyway, we're going to... Actually, let's kind of set it down here. These machines are a little weird to place, too, because, uh, yeah, kind of... I don't know how to rotate these blueprints. Like, I have no clue. Like, like I, I don't know how it works. I don't know, because right now, if I... Go, what is it, right here, then sneak, click on that. It tries to place it on the block that you're you're, you're, you're you're facing, right? It always tries to put the controller on the block that you're facing. So that is kind of how that works. But if I come around this side, it's still doing that. It's still placing it backwards, right? Doesn't seem to matter which way. And I, I No scroll wheel, no holding control, no holding control shift, no middle mouse. So <laughs> I'm not really sure how to rotate this because I don't think it says anywhere, like in... GUI? Like, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how you rotate it. So I'm just going to put it this way, because it seems like every way I place it right now, <laughs> the control ports are in the back. No, but not control ports. The power ports are in the back. So, yeah, I need to figure out how to rotate this. Um, you could probably just manually build it, but uh, until I know the machines better, I don't really want to go through that. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this built and uh, get this liquid processed into liquid plastic, which is what we're kind of going for here. Guess we're probably gonna need these out of here, so let's do that. Do this, and this one's hollow apparently. Let's go ahead. We need our energy hatch. Throw that there. Guess this one is the fluid output, fluid in, and did our controller. Awesome. <laughs> then the rest is just casing bed. Uh, these casings—they're a little expensive, man. They're fairly expensive. 
Not a ton, though. I mean, realistically, the three machines that we've made so far have uh, only cost us probably about one vein of iron and one vein of aluminum, plus some redstone, which the redstone is easy to get from the hollows in the twilight. So, yeah, that was definitely something. But uh, we're going to throw that there. That'll hook that up. That is pretty cool. And uh, we need to get this powered, so I'm probably just going to use the same as we were before, both well, thermos. But uh, I probably only need one. This is the one thing I've learned, that these things don't seem to take a ton of power. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. Maybe need more power later on. But uh, for right now, we're just going to go with one thermo. Let's do that. Uh, we've got lots of wire. Let's grab some connectors. Let's grab you. And uh, just get this done, man. That, and I believe I have lava in you, right? Yes, I do. Sweet. Here's everything we need. Let's uh, kind of get this going here. Put you to them. Uh, I guess we'll need a connector, a relay, and a connector. And get that all wired up. Sweet. And throw some lava down. And this thing should get some power. If everything is right in the world. There we go. I'm uh, actually not sure. I think you can actually look at the port, right? I think you can kind of, yeah, you can see it in here. They don't have much of a buffer. 2048 is not much at all. I'm going to need a bucket, right? And we're going to have to grab a bucket of that liquid. Could just bring the tank over there too for now. So maybe I'll do that. There we go. Just drop that. That's the output. I want the input. There we go. Then I can just bucket in really easy. Kind of like that. I think it'll only hold two at once. Oops, I just pulled the bucket out. It's weird that uh, on the inputs you can pull the liquid out too. I'm not used to that. Is that actually going? Yes, there we go. And we should have liquid over here. We do. We have molten plastic. So I should be able to just pull a bucket out. There we go. The a the invention of plastic. So we've got a brand new kind of, you know, advancement done there. We're going to move right on to this one, though. Kind of just push forward. That is kind of my goal. I want to get to the next age, man. <laughs> I'm there. Mentally, I'm already there. So, yeah. I'm not really sure exactly what we're going to unlock or what we can do kind of when we first get into that age. But uh, we'll kind of figure it out when we get there. And figure out what to do with the rest of the episode, because I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's go. How was that? How was I doing that? I was doing like this, right? Let's put a little space here. And what is the shape of this one? This one was different. Yeah, the, these blueprints are super easy, too. There's nothing special about them. So, yeah, not a big deal. Each one is just a tiny bit different. But anyway, let's go. Oh, sneak. There we go. Throw you there. This one's only too tall. No hollow bits. Okay, we're good to go. Put you right there. Let's get our casing down. Looks like the whole bottom, except for probably the power port on the back, is going to be casing. So let's do that. That's input. There's energy output. This one also took a item input. Did I not grab my item input? I'm going to have to go make an item input. I swore I made that. Really? <laughs> okay. I think it took an upper. I even looked at the recipe because it takes what's called an upper instead of the other thing. So... Yeah, we'll have to get that done. I do not have a lot of these plates left, though, so uh, we'll go do that in a second. Let's go here. That is the input hatch. Throw you here. That and that, right? Oh, what, what am I doing here? That is the actual item input, right? Or item output, right? So I'm going to go make that, probably. Let's go to item. Let's go to output. And it was one of these. So just four of the plates, one of the casing, which I already have, and an upper. So... I'll go make that real quick and uh, be right back. There we go. We got our item output. I should be able to throw that there. There we go. We got our multi-block. That is pretty cool. And uh, we should be able to throw this machine blueprint in there. And uh, we should be almost ready to go. Like straight up. Just be finished. Straight in another age, man. This one's going to probably be crazy because we should get journey map this time. So that is pretty awesome. We didn't get it the other way. But uh, my particle went away really slow. Anyway, let's go. Oh, we need to connect to there. To there. And then we need to get a bucket of liquid in there. And we should get plastic sheets out of this, right? So let's do that. Should be able to just do that, too. It would be easy to automate this whole string, too. These three machines would be just a daisy chain. Just need a tiny bit of piping. Though I don't want to have to use build craft, to be honest. Anyway, we got some plastic. What is the recipe? You actually get four per bucket. That isn't too bad, either. So there you go. I'm probably going to get a little bit of lag here. Probably a lot, because it's bring a journey map. Probably take a second. Come on. You can do it. There we go. You have access state. Oh, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> there you go. We're in the age four. I love that sound. But that one was particularly laggy. And I'm guessing because of the journey map, right? So we have journey map now, man. That is actually really cool. And uh, yeah, awesome. So 
we could do stuff. We have the things. We we can see a radar. Like this is a whole new world here. Like I d- I just said the word like like fourteen times, but it is amazing. Um, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> no more of that antique atlas. Like I don't think. Well, I mean, I'll use it for a while until I guess I mark all of my. It's not even on me. <laughs> I threw it in a chest. I remember where I put it. But uh, I need it for my. Uh, Deposits that I already have marked, I guess. I'm going to still need it for that. I don't want to have to convert them all over. i just figure out which ones I still need to convert. But anyway, that is that. We are actually in the next age. Let's actually take a look at what we can get to here. Because we should have a whole new line of quests here. So apparently we need to make another ore prospector, as always. That's pretty cool. Looks like we got cooking with blockheads. Or cooking for blockheads, which is cool. Looks like we're unlocking... Is that it? Scribers? Huh. And what is this? When you are unable to transfer transfer energy between different mods, the power adapter block can help convert it. Okay, so we're getting different power. That's pneumatic craft, pressure chamber. Okay. And what's this stuff? Uh, we can get into the end now, so we can get to a reusable ender pearl. That's cool. So yeah, it doesn't look like a lot of resources though yet. There's certus, there's ardite, and there's silicon. So that is definitely something. I'm surprised they're just giving us Ardite, though. I'm surprised they're not giving us Cobalt as well. But anyway. And uh, which press is that? Huh. Hold the press. Locate the materials. Logic. Silicon. Allow you to apply. Applied energetics and refined storage. Okay. So we could do either. Let's see here. I'm just curious right now. Can we do, like, all of it? <laughs> we don't have much of it. <laughs> we have the controller. We have the grid. We have network cards. So we could set up a storage system using crates is basically what they're giving us. That's all they gave us. <laughs> I mean, we could use, you know, our obsidian chest and be able to hold a decent amount, but it doesn't look like we have any actual storage yet. Let's go over to, I guess, AE2. Oh, I guess applied. It's probably going to be the same case. Yes, exactly same thing. So it looks like you can go either route, um, but you're not going to get actual storage. Like, you're not going to get the storage disk, which is cool. I mean, it is something definitely to work towards, which is awesome. I don't know which one we're going to go to. I don't know if we need to do both. I don't know how it works. So I guess we'll figure that out over time. We should kind of make something. How is the prospector? Because that's going to give us access to our um, newest ores, right? Prospector. There we go. That's actually super easy. I have to make some blaze rods, though, but I can press those. Let's go make one of those. <laughs> And okay, I guess all we need to do is grab about eight of these and kind of get them compressed up and uh, get that going there. Should only take a second. Let's grab you. Let's uh, put you here. Actually, I think I have one rod because we did the quest and I never used it, didn't I? Probably just looked at it too. Yeah, I did. Probably should compress them all. I don't know if we could all compress them. I haven't actually checked. But anyway, do that and that should turn that other one into a rod. Then we should just need two redstone. And maybe after that, we'll look at the kind of quest line and kind of figure out how to get to somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where we're headed right now, right? So we've got to figure it out as we go. I feel so slow right now. I took my boots off. There we go. Anyway, sometimes I, I the multi-jump drives me crazy, and other times it doesn't. I don't know. It's just a thing. Let's go and what is it called that we need? Um, the prospecting, right? Prospect. Grab you. This looks like... The one we want right there. And there we go. Has made the advancement or, or prospector tier 4. And what do we see here? I guess we actually see cobalt behind the ardite now. And we got our silicon. We've got certus. Looks like we've got inscribing. And that is pretty cool. So where are we headed? <laughs> I have no idea. Looks like we can get a new metacraft. We can get into... We can go to the end. And get into... Storage system. So let's kind of look at the storage systems really quick. Let's go to, I guess, the solder. No, we can't do the solder. <laughs> can we do the inscriber? Yes, we could do the inscriber. Let's take a look at the plates here and see what it entails. Looks like it's going to take a pneumatic craft and the assembly line and purper. So you definitely have to go to the end before you can get into a storage system. Let's see. How do you make the... Oh, let's see here. So here, let's go to use on that for a second. I'm just curious. Yes, okay, so that is how, that's how I thought I was going to do it. Because I actually, when I looked at refined storage, I noticed I did not see any of the circuits. 
So it looks like the way you're going to have to do the circuits in this pack is actually use AE2. <laughs> so it doesn't matter which one you use, whether it be refined storage or AE2, you need to make the circuits with the inscribers from AE2, which explains that whole power, uh, what is it called? The power adapter? Maybe we have to use the power adapter to make it so we can actually power the inscribers. That might be the way it works, because I didn't see that we have the, we definitely don't have controllers, right? No, we don't have controllers. Uh, what is the other one? Energy acceptor? Energy accept? We do have that. Okay. So, <laughs> trying to figure out how we go here. I don't even know which one I want to pick. I'm just kind of trying to um, figure out exactly where we need to go. It looks like a lot of stuff is locked behind the end. And what are these things? Ender alloys? Let's go to alloy. Check those out. So, that's going to need the arc furnace. That's arc furnace. That's arc furnace. So we're going to need an arc furnace at some point, obviously. Because, uh, well, we need to make those alloys. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little confusing here. What else do we need? What else? If I wanted to go refine storage, what is a grid? Let's just take a look, quick look at what a grid is. So we need luminescence. We've already done that. Quartz. That looks arc furnace. <laughs> Machine casing. Annihilation core. That that so we can find the services that should be pretty easy we can find those just kind of mining around the world but it looks like everything is locked behind both the end and the arc furnace that's going to be kind of our route to go here so it really comes down to which one we want to do right now do i want to go ahead and do the arc furnace or do i want to do the end first um i'm thinking let's 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 do a little bit here let's get our i saw the request there for the reusable ender pearl let's at least get that done that should be pretty easy. Then when I go to head to do the end, we can kind of just get her done, right? Uh, we'll actually need more than that. I'll need a bunch of these. <laughs> I wonder if I have enough right now. I don't know if I have enough for the eyes of Ender. Let's see here. Because I could need up to 12. If you find a portal with literally none in it. Yeah, I guess I do. I have enough here. Why did I just get an advancement for Certus Quartz? I think I just found a bug. <laughs> that was really funny, actually. Anyway, I'm going to go smelt down this ender pearl, get that kind of casted. Then I know when I go do the portal, I'm ready to go, right? So I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I may actually go and craft up everything we need for the arc furnace because that is the other lockdown. My main kind of focus is going to be for an inventory system at this point because an inventory system sounds like it'd be absolutely fantastic. It also seems to be the route it wants us to go. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll kind of figure it out as we go. Um, what was this stuff? Go to the Ender Alloy again. Oh, I know what that's from. What mod is that? Ender... Yeah, this. Ender Utilities. I've never actually used this thing. This thing has an entire inventory system itself. Which is pretty cool. Huh. I wonder what we're using all those alloys for, though. So here... Oh, is, though, is that on? Is that on? Off. Off. Okay. <laughs> I don't want that messing up, man. I didn't even throw it in here yet. Anyway, let's look at that really quick. Let's go here. Here see these alloys and see what they're used for so that's all ender utility stuff that's all ender utility stuff so is it only going to be for ender utility things oh that's extended crafting so it's also extended crafting stuff so we are going to need that stuff moving forward okay just trying to get a figure out for it and uh kind of get a feel for it i guess is what i'm trying to say and uh yeah once we're done here um i'm gonna make this a reusable ender pearl then I think I may craft up everything we need uh, to kind of get us forward on the kind of the arc furnace there. Once we have our arc furnace, maybe in between these episodes, I'll get us set up to fight the Ender Dragon. Probably be kind of the way I'm going to do it. Once we get to the end, Ender Pearls aren't going to be a problem anymore. But uh, I'm running low. I think I actually have two more up. But the, uh, what is that place? The uh, Astro Sorcery area. So it isn't very dire. But, uh, that'll give us that. That'll give us that. The, the reusable was this and just eight of those, right? So this and that. Sweet. And pretty cool. And that's from Cyclic, right? Yeah. So used to find strongholds. So I should be able to shoot that, right? Okay. That's cool. When the time comes to go there, we can kind of do that. I'm not going to go to an Ender Pearl right now. Ender Pearl. An Ender Dungeon or Stronghold right at this time. I just want to have that ready. So when we do get there... And kind of just open up the portal and get that going. What I think I might do, actually, is... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the arc first. I think that is probably our best bet. 
Because that's going to take me a little moving around. I'm going to have to dig through an ender dungeon. I'm going to have to do that jazz. And we'll have to go to the end. Then I'll have to fight the dragon. And so on and so forth. So what I think I'm going to do is actually get... Because this one's not even a quest, right? But it's obvious that we need it. Is get everything together that we need for the arc furnace. And get that set up and ready to go. That thing is going to take a lot of power too. So maybe... Maybe next episode too, we'll actually work on the steam turbine. So I'm going to do a bit of crafting. I'll be back in a bit. And okay, I've gone ahead and done some crafting. And also looking at kind of JEI, kind of, you know, figuring things out and seeing how we have to do things. So the arc furnace, we're not doing that today. Not a chance we're getting into it. We actually need to do a crusher industrial squeezer first. Uh, we need these here, which are the graphite electrodes to kind of put in the arc furnace to make it work. To do that, you need to make hop graphite, which is hop graphite dust, which needs to be, well, right here we'll start at the first step here the first step is here you need to make the coke dust in the industrial squeezer uh the only way to do that is with a crusher so <laughs> you see what i mean so you gotta do the crusher first you crush down the cold coke you then squeeze that boom you then smelt that uh right you can smelt that right there's a place to just smelt hop dust yeah right there you just kind of smelt it up and then finally we can make the electrodes using a blueprint or i guess the press we could use it either way metal press would be easier i suppose and uh, yeah, then we'll finally have the electrodes we need to even be able to use an arc furnace. So <laughs> I've gone ahead and crafted up everything we need. So we should have that. And I think I already have the projector set to the right thing. So let's go ahead and get the crusher done first. I figure it's the best bet. Because uh, yeah, we'll just get that done. <laughs> I'm just going to stick it over here for right now. Because I really need to finish that building. I really do. But uh, I'll get to it when I get to it. Uh, I do not have enough of these. I must have left them right here. Oh, I grabbed the wrong machine. I meant to grab the actual crusher first. So let's do that and do this. So the crusher is pretty cool, actually. So if it remains useful the entire pack, I'll end up using it the entire pack because it's actually a good crusher. Um, it takes a fair amount of power, but as you kind of progress, usually power becomes less of an issue. And it has a giant queue in it. You can put in, I don't know, 100 stacks of items in here, no problem whatsoever. It'll just slowly kind of go through it. So you can queue up massive amounts. It isn't the fastest, but uh, it has a massive kind of buffer in it. So something I've always liked about it. Anyway, it is really easy to set up this one. A little expensive, just in the iron department, which is something I'm going to have to go mine probably in between episodes. But uh, not that big a deal. I did have to make a bunch of hoppers, which was a little bit of a pain, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> That's what I signed up for. I have that one not pointing down. They do have to point all down, so... Just make sure they are, or you're not going to multi-block. You're going to get your little red X's. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be all wrong, man. That should be that there. We have a green box. Everything should be good to go. The power node should be back here. That's why I faced it this way. Uh, I should be able to just grab our hammer. Go right here. And just get that going right there. I think it's that particular fence right there. And uh, let's get that off our bar so we're not looking at red boxes. We're going to need an inventory because this thing kind of auto ejects into the world. And uh, we don't want that, right? So let's put that right there. On off switch. I don't know what these ones are. A lot of these machines have this little symbol. I don't know if it means anything, but I've never used it for anything. So anyway, should be able to tap power right there and it's going to hook it up to that. So should not be a big deal in that respect, I guess. Let's grab you. I don't think I'm going to need those, but I'll grab them anyway. There we go. Get this wired up, get it going, and uh, throw in some cold coke, and uh, we should have exactly what we need. So all you have to do to kind of feed that thing is to drop items in the top, and then it'll speed out the, you know, what it's ground down out the out the side in that thing that we have set up there, a chest. The thing. <laughs> Let's do a good amount of this. I'm going to have to make more steel in between episodes, too. Our power needs are going to hike up very quickly using this immersive stuff. So... Definitely going to have to work up power. Maybe we'll do the... I always say I'm going to do something that it changes. But right now, if nothing changes based on what I see at JEI, um, <laughs> probably going to do the arc furnace and probably the steam turbine tomorrow. Of course, I'm going to need more steel because I think I'm down to about 30 blocks of steel. And I don't think that's enough because the, the, cause the steam turbine is actually two components. One's a broiler and one's the actual steam turbine. And I think it's a broiler. Maybe. I'd have to look at it again. But it's going to cost way too much. But anyway, that's that. The crusher's done. It's given us what we need. I should be able to do my grits in there too, right? Can I do all my grits in here? Yes, yeah, sweet. That'll actually save a lot of work. Okay, so that is pretty sweet. That is done. Let's go take a look at the squeezer here. So the squeezer 
Should be just as easy, realistically. I just need to find it in the book. Let's do... Not that. I have nothing to combine with. Over here, let's go back here and go to... Where's Squeezer, man? Squeezer. Awesome. Um, this one is can be used for a lot of stuff. This is kind of the oddball use for it. Usually it squeeze liquids out of uh, seeds and stuff is what you usually use it for. Especially when you're using diesel as power. Because it is a way of producing diesel. I think the power node is right there. I want to keep it, like I said before, pointed in this direction. And powered off our four little tiny thermoelectrics. We are in the poor, poor realms when it comes to power. But uh, we'll sort that out. Anyway. Yeah, but it's usually used for... Uh, Making diesel. That is usually what I use the squeezer, squeezer for. Anyway, I haven't really looked really deeply before on what else it could be used for, but we'll do that. There we go. I did have to make some of these wooden barrels. I think we had to make that for something else, but I don't know. It was the uh, metal barrels that we had to make before. Or the tanks, whatever they're called. Anyway, do that. Do you right there. And I think it's just a piston, right? And then a couple of fences. But then we're good to go, man. Move on more for life. And that'll be sweet. Do you? Are you there? The hammer should be able to aim you down. I think it might be this block right here, but we'll see. Rotate. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And we got our squeezer, so everything's right there. I think that is the output, right? So I should be able to do that. Kind of see that. Try it out. See if it works. If it doesn't, so be it. We'll move on with our life. Guess we'll do ah, that. Hook that up to power, and let's just see if we can get some of this coke dust in here. I don't remember if it takes liquid. I honestly have no clue, so we're about to find out here. Doesn't look like it, although it looks like it takes a lot of power because it's <laughs> eating every bit of power I can throw at it. Oh, there we go. We have our hop graphite. That is sweet. I'm just curious if this exports. This export might be for liquids is actually what I think it's for, because if you actually, I guess we go to melon. That is one of the main ones. I guess melon seeds, right? Go to use, go to squeezer. It'll produce plant oil. So that is one thing. Uh, I think it's mostly plant oil, right? Yeah. <laughs> and canola, apparently. You can do canola, too. I never knew that from actually. And re mineral resin. Okay, cool. I kind of forgot that integrated dynamics is in here. But integrated, the add-on mod is in here. So anyway, <laughs> not going to get the bad benefit of using it. It's just easy piping, right? Anyway, let's do that. It looks like we already got seven. So let's go smelt this up and actually make our rods. And then we can actually say that we're ready. <laughs> Although I think we might need three rods. Is that the way this works? It's been a while. Let's go and do that. At least get one made. We call it a day. I did get this stuff growing too. That's actually the uh, slime supplement, which is pretty cool. Can you leave? That'd be great. Go here. Let's grab some coal. Throw that in there. And we should be able to do it right here, right? Is that on the right one? No, it's not. Let's uh, pull that off. Put that, grab the metal press, and there. We should be good to go. <laughs> good to go, man. Just give me a couple more rigots. And uh, yeah, we should have this done. This part is done. We still have a lot in front of us. This pack is truly a rabbit hole. I, I don't know why. Every once in a while, I just I get this false sense of security when I'm in a good spot in this pack. And then all of a sudden... Pack just is like it's like Dark Osto sitting over my shoulder and goes, Nope, <laughs> you're not doing things that easy, man. Not in this pack, and uh, it's probably just going to get worse and worse and worse. So, the sooner I accept it, the better. But anyway, let's go over here, I'll throw that in there, and we should have our electrodes, right? Awesome, yes, we have electrodes. I can actually have a reason to actually build this now, and I think we actually to. to uh, Let's see here. Go to use. Is there a way to get these up to full? I can't remember. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's a fluorescent tube used for? I don't even know what a fluorescent tube is used for. It doesn't have a use on it. It has a recipe. So, I'm just curious. You must have to just combine them? That must be something. And okay, I just want to try one more thing here. Because I think I actually made this the wrong way. So, if we go ahead here, we can actually make another blueprint. With three dye and three paper, we're going to grab that. That's going to give us a blueprint. I think this one's going to give us a electrode that's actually 100% integrity, as opposed to the ones we got, which were 50%. So almost definitely the better way to do it. So if I put that there, yes, these ones have 100 integrity. And uh, yeah, as opposed to 50. They do kind of wear down as you use them if it's turned on in the configs. And I'm guessing 
almost guaranteed that it's turned on in this. So I think this is the much better way to do it because we're going to get, you know, 100% ones versus, you know, 50% ones. So yeah, I totally did it the wrong way. And uh, this is the right way you should do it. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm going to end this one here. So this is going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop and buy, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcome. I also have a Patreon, so you want to check that out. Maybe think about supporting me, move forward, making videos. That'd be absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. When well, you guys have a good one, I'll see you guys next video. Later.